guys, um, it's Courtney here, and I wanted to show you a couple of things about my new stamp set that's coming out. Um, one of the really cool things that I love is this, these different rays that you can stamp, and it's kind of hard to understand unless you see it, so that's what I'm doing here. Um, the first thing that comes with your set is this little star-shaped stamp, and you may just think that it's kind of a cute little star thing. And actually, I've used it on on cards that way. But it's really to start your rays, like to help keep them lined up. And you can totally just wing it and eyeball it. Or you can use this little guide and help you this little stamp. So that's what I'm going to show you today. The first thing you're going to do is decide kind of where you want your starting point of your rays to be. I'm going to do mine right here, but you can do anywhere. I've made the stamps long enough where you can put them anywhere. So I'm just going to stamp that. And that just kind of helps give you like even spacing as you do your your rays. So now I'm just going to ink up the largest ray, and I'm just going to line it up with that line. And I, I work on a mouse pad, and it just kind of helps give a better impression. That one didn't do that great, to be honest. But we'll just keep moving along. Seems like that's always how it is when I'm doing a video. So I'm just going to line that up again. I'm using not my favorite ink, but I will not tell y'all whose it is. <laughs> Some of you may guess. But there I go. I'm doing better. And you can tell I'm not doing a really good job lining mine up. Probably because I'm trying to watch a video and do this. But if you're covering it up, you really don't have to worry about it at all. But if you are, if you're going to show it, you really want to make sure you stay on that guide right on it so that it doesn't show at all. So you can see as I'm going around this, it's creating this kind of sunburst look. So I'm just going to finish up. I think it would be really cute to do some grass down here and really make that look like a sun. But I'm kind of going for like a just a thin bright colored look. So I've just got two more rays here. And you know when you do these short ones you can just ink up the very end of your ray. So voila! There's and the beginning. That's the first step. And then I'm going to take off my large one, large ray, and I'm going to, there's this smaller one that comes in your set. And I'm just going to put that on my block and kind of go on either side of the, these large rays. I just think it's a really cute, it really adds a lot to it, I think. So I'm going to make sure I get this lined up right. So what I'm going to do, since there's not guides once you get down to this level, because if you wanted to stop right there, you wouldn't want something showing. So I'm just going to, it's a lot easier just to, to line this up now that you kind of have guides on either side. Now I have this stamp on here wrong. I want to make sure that your stamp is lined up right. So, and it is still crooked. I don't know why things happen to me like this when I'm on a video, but they certainly do. All right, let's try that. So I'm just going to stamp this on either side. Wow, I so got that going the wrong way. Again, I'm not too worried about the center because I'm covering it up. I already know that. And this just adds something really cool to it. So you can kind of get the idea if you add, um, you know, the smaller rays, how cool that is. And you can totally see that I've like totally messed up the center. <laughs> this is what happens when you are looking at a camera and trying to stamp. Um, but you get the idea. I think it's 
really cool. Um, obviously I'm biased. I also wanted to show you a couple other things that you can do with the rays. This is a card I stamped um, and I just did it on pattern paper um, and it just gave it a really cool effect. And um, actually that's the same ink I used on this this card. You can just see the difference when it's stamped on yellow. Um, but that's something you can do is use it on pattern paper. You also can just use embossing. This is another card I made. You can do this a much you know more subtle effect than I did on this crazy orange and teal example. So that's something really fun. Just use the tone on tone. This is um, embossed and clear. These large arrays and the smaller ones are just versa mark. And I personally love the way it looks. Of course, I'm biased. So that's kind of the four one one on the um, different rays. I think they're really fun. And hopefully you'll like them too. Um, you can always email me if you have any questions about them. All right. Thanks. Bye.